President Draghi, no stranger to navigating messy politics in Europe, but I do wonder what the election result of the last 24 hours in Germany means for his job over the next 12 months. I don't think it means a whole lot. Uh, he's going to go very careful with this. They have been extremely clear on, on the sort of lining up the, uh, the tapering, which we think will start early next year. Uh, and I couldn't for the life of me think that the election outcome, which is not that spectacular, to be honest. I mean, I know that the news media runs all the stories about the complexity, but really it's not that uh, on, uh, out of the expected. So I don't think he's going to really bother him at this stage. Eric, if, if he was hoping, though, that fiscal policy would pick up some of the slack in Europe, given where the FDP stands on things, is he going to be ultimately disappointed? No, I don't think so. I think there's a lot of confusion here. For the first of all, uh, fiscal policy, which was very contractory for a long time and, and wrongly so, has turned slightly uh, accommodative uh, and, and it will continue to be so. There is no conceivable way that this election in Germany was going to change fundamentally the German finance ministries or uh, government's attitude toward fiscal policy. Yeah, we could get a bit more investment in Germany and we probably will get, uh, but we won't get these big sort of, of moves that people are, are thinking about. And that's not what Macron is asking for. The Italians sometimes are, but it's not what Macron is asking for. He's asking for something completely different from fiscal stimulus uh, uh, per se. Didier, who are you most excited to hear from? Janet Yellen, Mark Carney or Mario Draghi this week? Um, <clears throat> I think in, in all cases we, we have uh, you know, central bankers that, are, that want to convince the markets that uh, you know, they will move forward uh, irrespective of what's happening in politically or what's happening in, in the economy. And they're all working on the assumption that you know, the economy will be able to stomach uh, you know, the, the, the programs they, they have in mind of, uh, of tightening quantitative or, or, or interest rates. Um, so I think the language is going to be very, uh, very similar uh, with some sequence, you know, sequential difference from, from one to the next. But, uh, but it is something which I think the markets are totally expecting right now. The only thing is that the markets are saying, which is the big question, the markets are saying you will begin uh, your tightening, you will begin your, your tougher stance, but you won't be able you know, to pursue it beyond a certain uh, stage, you know, six months, nine months, because the economy will force you to uh, you know, slow down your tightening plans. Uh, but for the short term, I think the, the, the road is, is pretty clear.